oh yeah tournaments everything that comes along with it oh yeah i now, mean that do, do you feel like it's it, it can be overbearing sometimes because i know some people look at it as a grind but some people look at it as fun you know how, how do you how do you look at it um i think it's fun like obviously well i mean this past spring we were traveling for like five weeks so we missed like five weeks of school which is i know you're pretty right. difficult. Yes. yeah it was it was fun in the moment gotta, but when i gotta got make back, up that work right right i was like oh this is but um yeah i mean it's fun like you work really hard in these four or five weeks leading up to the tournament and then you just go out have fun and i mean you have all the confidence in the world because you've been practicing right now when did you start beating your uh your dad and your granddad <laughs> um, I was <laughs> 13, I think, 13? and I will never forget, he was so mad, what? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, how did you do that, I thought we were yeah. tied, I was like, we were not tied, no, you won, right, fair yeah. and square, right, <laughs> well, that's good, I know, I, you know, I know as a dad, uh, my son started beating me like two, two years ago, I mean, I, I'll probably never beat him again because he drives the ball 300. And so it's, it's, I don't, th I don't think dad will ever beat you. He'll, he'll have to, he'll have to catch you on a really bad day to beat you. Right. Really? <laughs> good, oh, good. Now tell us, um, so we got, we got, we got a lot of junior listeners. That's, this, this is going to go out to, you know, thousands of junior uh, players. Uh, what would you say would be your, your what would be your biggest you know your best advice as they're going through the junior circuits as they're going you know trying to get a college scholarship what would you what would you say what would be your best advice to them right now you know there's just uh, there's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes you know just making sure you're focused you don't have to practice for eight nine hours I'm saying like just focus your 100% on the time that you're there and you're gonna practice. And then when you get out on the course, have fun. I mean, gotcha. all your confidence is there because you know you put in the work behind the scenes. So just go out and showcase what you can do. Great. So um, so Zoe, your practice routine, talk to us a little bit about, walk us through your practice routine. When, when, when you go to the course, what, what do you start with? Cause a lot of people like to start at the range cause they, they don't wanna run out of range balls. How do you typically start your practice routine? Um, I always start with putting just because putting is my weakest okay. uh, factor right now. And so I usually spend time doing like little drills, just make sure my maintenance is good. My setup is good for most of the time I'm putting. And then at the end, I'll probably do like a little game where you have to do like four under and um yeah, I spend an hour and a half putting. That's beautiful. And then literally like 35 minutes on the range. I don't spend much on the range. Do you have a um do you have a favorite putting? Um, whether it's the string line, whether it's the mirror, what's your favorite putting apparatus to use? I use the mirror for like mirror. Okay. five years, but recently I just started adding the string back again and I love it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's, that's what my son uses. So we, I think we're on the right track because we yes. starting to get down to you know 26, 27, 28 putts around, and you know, but every now and then he'll have that thirty, yeah, thirty four. And I'm like, my son, your putting was good last tournament. What happened? I don't know, Dad. <laughs> like, no, me too. I don't know what happened either. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Zoe, what's in the bag? Tell us. Tell us about you know. What do you have in the bag right now? Uh, I have ping driver. Okay. Uh, you're ping. Title. You're a ping person. I, you know, just the driver. I like it a lot. I oh, do. okay, okay. My son, <laughs> then, my son doesn't like the ping driver. He said it sounds like uh, uh some the loud noise. Ping. <laughs> and I say you don't, you know, you don't like it. But you anyway. know, they're like we can hear you all the way from across the thing. So I'm like, <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Right, right. And then title is irons and wood. Mm-hmm and tailor-made uh hybrids and then an even roll putter okay good good now <clears throat> besides your clubs mm -hmm. what are you keeping in your bag like a, a a good luck item a favorite ball marker something yeah. that nobody would expect you know 
Zoe to keep it.